up guys, it's Diamante here and I wanted to come to you with a public service announcement. So we all have this one friend who's always like, ooh, this color is cute. Hmm. Let's try this color. Ooh. Best friend. Best friend. Best friend. Look at this color. Isn't it cute? <laughs> You're just a hater. I look good. Yes, like I said, we all have that one friend. So today, I'm gonna show you guys how to work with those nudes and those lighter colors. And this is a video specifically for men and women of color who just seem to can't find their perfect shade of nude. I'm going to show you that and it's just gonna be some easy tips and tricks. And yeah, so let's get started. Okay, so first things first is that I know that we've all run into that color that looks so pretty and then when we put it on it gives that like ashy appearance around the edges and it just doesn't blend with our skin well. The one thing that you're going to need is a brown liner. Um, my personal favorite liner is the NYX in Chestnut. You can also use MAC Chestnut as well or Cork. And today I'm going to be trying out this new lip liner. This is the Jordana Easy Liner for Lips and it's called Coco Loco. It is a must. It is a staple for every... I don't care if you're high yellow. I don't care if you're as super, super dark. Every brown girl needs brown girl, brown people in general need a brown liner to help lipstick blend with their skin tone. Certain lipsticks, not all, but certain ones. So first things first, literally all you want to do is just take your lip pencil, and I'm just going to get my mirror, and just line your lips kind of fill in your lips just slightly is at least that's what I like to do just so that when I blend the two colors together it won't take as long or it won't be as hard to blend the lighter color with the lip liner so now that we have our lip liner on, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna try actually a few different uh, nude slash pinky sort of lipsticks. And we're just gonna make them work for our skin tone. So first what I have here is the Milani Matte Lipstick in Matte Innocent. And we're just gonna put it Alright, so see how simple that was? Very simple, easy. Alright, so let's go ahead and move on to the next color. Alright, so now we're going to go into one of my favorite shades. This is MAC Lipstick in Velvet Teddy. I remember when I first picked up Velvet Teddy and I was like, nude! such a pretty color sometimes I even wear it by itself I know like that's a faux pas but it's such a pretty color but anyway so I'm gonna have to put this on Just blend the two colors. 
color. And there you have it. The next color that I'm going to try is also a MAC lipstick. Uh, when I was over the matte look and I wanted a more creamier finish, I switched over to Modesty by MAC. And Modesty is such a pretty nude color as well. So we're gonna go ahead and put that one on. And this is what it looks like. Apply a little bit more lip liner. The next color that I'm going to try is going to be more of a peachy more of a peachy new color. And it's going to be the Wet n Wild Catsuit Liquid Lipstick. This is the color Nudist Peach. And we're going to go ahead and put this on. Alright, so last but not least, I am actually going to be going to try something new that I haven't tried. I just recently purchased this. This is the Cat the Wet n Wild Cat Suit Liquid Lipstick in the color Nudist. Sorry, not Nudist. Nudie Patootie. And it's just a it's really, really light. So I'm just gonna go ahead and change the lip liner. Um, because the Jordana lip liner was so warm. I'm gonna go with my trusty NYX lip liner in chestnut. And seriously guys, it's all about the liner, so if you don't have a, a brown liner, you definitely need to pick at least like one or, it's, it's a requirement. You need at least 500. Well not 500, just, you need a lot. It'll become a staple. Alright, so now that we have our liner on, we're going to go ahead and try this color out. Okay, let me go ahead and swatch it. Ooh. Okay. It's a lot more pinker. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's a lot more pinker swatch than in the tube, so it might be less white than I thought. Yeah, let's go ahead and put this bad boy on. All right, and here's the color in all its glory. Alright guys, so that is just a simple, easy way to wear lighter lipstick or more nude lipstick. Like I said, having that darker lip liner or a brown lip liner uh, specifically is a staple to have in your makeup bag just so that it helps blend those colors with our skin tone just a little bit better than it would normally. If you would like to see more, just hit the subscribe button and also like the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you guys want to have a discussion about this below or you have some friends that need a little bit of help with their lipstick game, just definitely share the video and let them know that they need a brown liner. Okay. All right, well, I will get you guys later in another video. Uh, definitely check out my previous videos, and I'll see you later.